ارجع لواحد النقطه مهمه هي ديال العلاج الشخص تعالج عندي الم الظهر او الكتف وتعالج فعلا عاد تعالج مرحليا كيف كما قلت حسب تاثير بحال سعسير ديال المخدرات وديال الدخان وديال الخمر او الكوكايين والهيروين تاثير يعني مرحلي ولكن على المدى البعيد على المدى البعيد سا الانسان سواء المعالج او اللي كيحضر هذه الدوره التكوينيه او المعالج سيصاب بامراض ربي يعني نطلبوا الله السلامه ولكن هذه شهادات متواتره من طرف اشخاص بارسو وكانوا معالجين او معالجين وعنترككم مع هاد الشهادات حيه وتاملوها والانسان كيحكم وكيشوف لان يعني كل واحد سيد نفسه وشكرا لكم want to make this video to give you guys an informed decision i'm going to tell you things that you might not know about and then it's up to you and i'm not going to be using christian sources here um, no 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 i'm going to be using the uh, reiki's own literature this manual here is from a reiki master called stephen james culshaw he's a reiki master in in chester and it's the first degree manual Th this is what my friend had and i just photocopied it and, and started to research it and took notes on it and i'm going to be using some secular sources as well or a secular source rather okay so it's basically a system of laying on of hands that's what mo most people know it as but it's more than that it's really very like spiritualism because it has contact with spirits called reiki guides now, i'm going to show you some stuff in this manual here and uh, it's on page 11 it says another experience often encountered is that the recipient can feel your hands are in contact with different areas of the body and it seems as if there are several people working on the healing this can be caused by a number of reasons now it gives a few reasons there but it's this one here that sort of like slipped in amongst the, the various reasons. Divine beings called Reiki guides sometimes assist in the healing. Okay, so you've got these Reiki guides assisting in the healing, laying their hands on your body alongside the Reiki master. Some people are surprised by this because there's only one person in the room, yet they can feel other hands on their body. I think it might be useful just to show this page as well here of the process the laying on of hands there <clears throat> some more things um this is on page 12 it says before starting one of the reiki sessions this is when you're, you're actually giving the healing before starting say a silent prayer for guidance and help from the reiki guide so it's encouraging you here to pray to these things and it, there's no explanation as, as to what these things actually are even then you can end the treatments by silently thanking these guides so we're talking about guides and spirits here can you see how it's 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 like a, a form of spiritualism okay and then is this process called attunements which basically sort of changes the vibrational level of you and your aura by rewiring is the word that's used here the subtle energy channels in our finer bodies through transmission now it talks about a number of things that you do here placing the reiki symbols on the person's body and uh, the procedure is performed by the reiki master but controlled by universal wisdom and attended and guided by astral reiki guides so here they are again and it says at the bottom this is page 17 once Reiki is activated by an attunement, it is always with you. Even if you reject this, it says, even if you reject it and just dismiss it as foolishness and never have anything to do with it again, it's going to remain with you. And you can 